wow, this angle kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, what's up? Let me go through a bunch of CDs that I got added to the distro. There's a couple of them, and then here's a huge box. Huge box up. So, whatever, let's go through them. Oh, what's up, kitty? Okay, first one. Mother of Mercy came out on Bridge Nine. Uh, 2011, I believe. Um, good stuff. Uh, the vocalist of this band, I believe, went on to be in Malice of the Palace for a little bit. Not sure if he still is, but yeah. And I mean, it's also only $2, so I mean, how can you go wrong? It's pretty good. Bishop Drugs. Uh, I believe I have everything, or I mean, yeah, yeah, I believe I have everything by this band at this point. Um, yeah, uh, I've got this on vinyl too, I believe, uh, or wait, no, I just sold it on vinyl, then I got, uh, Everything in Vain also on CD, I believe in the store and I got everything in vain on tape in the store too if you're interested in that only six bucks pretty good pretty good stuff straight edge hardcore out of uh, Florida I believe yeah win the fight I got a bunch of these from AJ at preserving hardcore out of Philly or no, 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 not Philly. I'm sorry. Sorry, AJ. I'm a piece of shit. Um, Pittsburgh area. Yeah. This is an old Iowa band, I believe. From like two, the, from like the early O's. Yeah, the early 2000s. Good stuff. I got a couple copies in the web store. Or you can just message me or whatever. Right. Sabretooth Zombie. The band that... I just never could get into, but I mean, obviously other people can. Uh, this came out on, I forgot which freaking label this even came out on. Twelve Gauge Records. That album art's pretty cool, I think. Also, it's only four dollars, so if you like. Hardcore, pick it up. Two Peer to Die. This is another band that I have everything that they've put out in my store and in my actual collection. This is their latest release. Came out in 2018 when they decided to, to yeah, be a band again. Pretty good stuff. Only the true remain. Bruise. Grief Ritual. Hold on. Unbeaten Records. These guys are from Indiana. I have their last copies of this CD and LP. So I've got friggin' like 20 or 30 of each. So hit me up if you're interested in heavy hardcore stuff from the Midwest. These guys are good. They were around from 2015-ish, I think, till 2019. Sorry, Trey. If I got that wrong. My bad. But yeah, it's good stuff. Pick it up. Gravemind. This is some deathcore stuff. I don't really like it. Uh, came out on Chugcore though, and Chugcore's good, good people. But this album artwork is pretty badass. I uh, like. I'm not sure if the camera can tell because I got freaking lights. It's kind of messing shit up. But yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, this is only an EP, but yeah, still it's, it's okay. I don't really like it, but I mean, if you 
are into it, cool. Because that's a good thing about music, it's, it, is it is subjective. It's another band that, I mean, it's okay. I, I don't know. Pathology. Uh, I believe that the old vocalist of I Declare War was in this band. I'm not sure if he still is, but that album artwork is pretty sick. So yeah, if you're into like slam or metal or death metal or anything, check that out. You might enjoy it. Uh, do I even have to say anything about this band? Everybody knows this band. Dying Fetus. This came out on Relapse. Yeah, Relapse. Infatuation with Malevolence. Yeah. This is the OG After the Burial Rare Form on CD. I got the la not the last ones of it but I don't think there's many left that are like readily available so yeah if you want that get at me or whatever and I also got the or, or the re-recorded one right here this one's got Anthony on vocals I believe and the other one had their old vocalist and it's also got some neon green and black Album artwork, which I mean, it's it's cool, but I mean, I don't know. It's the same thing. I don't know what to say. How is my battery that low already? I just charged it. What the? F All right, whatever. Okay. Austrian Death Machine. I just got this in the mail the other day. I got a few copies of it. Because I'm going out to a couple metal-ish festivals in the next... Okay, I'm going out to one on the 5th of October and then one on the 12th of October. So I figured I'd get some more metal-ish stuff that people are into. Uh, this is the guy from As I Lay Dying. And uh, he's doing like a uh, freaking... Arnold Schwarzenegger like tribute impression band thing it's pretty cool I like it I mean obviously not everyone does that's fine uh, Ocean's 8 Alaska at first I was into it and then started singing and I just I didn't really like it I mean hey I saw him once a couple years ago they're pretty cool this is out on what it say? Fearless Records, yeah. Uh, pretty good condition. I got this in a lot that I bought. Uh, yeah. Pick it up if you're into it. You might be. Hands Like Houses. This is another band that I saw once. Didn't really care for, but I bought it in a lot. So I figured I'd check it out, and I still didn't really like it, but that album artwork's pretty cool. Um, I saw them once, too, back on the freaking Warp Tour or something like that. Sorry, Katie. The Safety Fire. Not really sure what this is. I don't really like it. It's not, I, I don't know much about it, I'm, I guess, but if you're into it, check it out. From first to last, uh, the dead trees. Yeah, dead trees is what it's called. Uh, I didn't really care for it that much. I'd rather listen to their older stuff from back when I was a freaking child. Or well, or well, okay, not a child. I was thirteen, fourteen, so I guess teenager. But you know, whatever. Same difference, uh, it's in mint, mint condition here. It's also out on 
Sumerian, which is weird. I think it's weird anyway, but some of you might not. Uh, no. no bragging rights. This is probably their best album, in my opinion. Came out in 2000, when was it? 13? Yeah, to that, no. 2012 on Good Fight. E1. Yeah. Great, great album. Check it out. You might be into it. Heard that they're actually getting back together again. I mean, that's pretty cool. Seen them a few times. Texas in July, one reality. Uh, just some metalcore stuff. This is out on Equal Vision record. It's pretty, it's okay, but, you know, I, I don't have enough space, so I just figured somebody else would like it. Shattered Realm. Shattered Realm. Uh, this hardcore beatdown stuff. It's on Eulogy. This guy's from Philly, I believe. Sorry, Joe, if I don't know my shit. Uh, this is... I can't read. From the Dead and Blocks Where Life Means Nothing. Release. Oh. What else do I got here? Shy Halud. Some hardcore, yeah, post-hardcore, metalcore stuff, whatever the hell you want to call it. Not too bad. This came out on Crisis and, again, on Rev HQ. It's actually kind of not rare, but not, like, the easiest to find, I guess. According to the internet, what else? It prevails this band is pretty cool if nobody actually ends up buying this I might keep it I mean, it's not bad it's just I don't have all the room in the world otherwise yeah I'd keep it no uh, it's also signed see that yeah it's signed it's pretty cool uh, these guys were also in American me I believe Saw them, saw American Me one time. That was pretty badass. But never, unfortunately, got to see it prevail. 25 to Life. Strength through, through, strength through Unity. This is another one. I mean, I don't really like it, so I figured somebody else would. That album artwork's pretty cool. Um, obviously Rick to Life, kind of a joke, but I mean, what can you do, you know? Uh, this came out in 2008 on Custom Core Records. No idea. I figured that he would have made it himself since he's got a record label or whatever. Another 25 to Life. I figured somebody else would like more keeping it real when when did this come out came out on two th oh hi kitty hello uh, this came out on two thousand in 2009 on custom core really you just gonna sit there all right dude I mean, hey I ain't gonna tell you what to do Hate Your Guts. This is another band that I thought was okay, but I just didn't have room. This came out on FDR Records back in 2008. Some heavy beatdown-ish hardcore stuff. If you're into that, check it out. Oh, how much time do I have? Oh, shit, only got ten minutes left. All right. Vision of Disorder. I forgot that I already owned this, so I figure... Yeah, I don't need two copies, so. Yeah, this album's pretty, pretty good. Origin. This band I actually love. 
I love this band, but this release, I just didn't really get into. But yeah, uh, Informus, Infinitus, Inhumanitus, it's the album. Also, the case is kind of scratched up, beat up. Sorry. Crunk Punk. This is a guy I met at Summer Slaughter. He was selling these demos. Whatever, I guess he was like traveling with the tour, but he wasn't like actually ever like going inside. He was just outside trying to sell his stuff. So me and four other people picked it up. Uh, I didn't really like it. Kept it around until I had to try to get some more space. So, uh, it's like deathcore nasty stuff. Uh, give it a shot, I guess. A Plea for Purging. Uh, there's another one. I can't freaking read the album title. I still can't read the album title. I'm sorry. Uh, it is Still Sealed. Uh, yeah, so if you're into that Christian metal, check it out. Dillinger Escape Plan. Another band I just couldn't get into, I'm sorry. But if you are, yeah, check it out. Oh, this is uh, Under the Running Board. Came out on Relapse back in, back in whenever the hell I can't read. Anthrax. Everybody knows Anthrax. Um, I had this, but I figured somebody else would like it more. But that album art is pretty cool. And it's got this case to go over. That's, that's pretty cool. Animals as Leaders. This is their only album that I really wasn't too into, honestly. But yeah, if you're into that stuff, it's fucking amazing. Guitar. Tosin Abasi. Heaven Shall Burn. This is one I picked up from AJ a couple weeks. No, it was about a month. Was it about a month ago? Yeah, it was about a month ago when I saw him in Iowa to appear to die. Heaven Shall Burn. Yeah, this is another one I picked up from AJ. Uh, I thought it was like an actual album, but it ended up being a live album. I don't really like live albums. I checked it out, but I still I just couldn't get into it. But yeah, On Earth is pretty pretty dang good. I've seen them once or twice. Broadcast the Nightmare. Don't really know what this is. Uh, I had it for like almost a year, but I figured somebody else might like it more than me. Okay, shit, I only got six minutes left. So I'm going to run through these as fast as I can. Zayo, this is another one that I got from AJ. See the Preserving Hardcore. Label sticker dealie right there. That's pretty cool. From this day, Proverbs of Ashes is another one that I had actually in my personal collection. Uh, I thought somebody else might would, bleh, would like more than me. Another Zao. Sorry, I just can't get into it. I tried, and it's. It just wasn't doing it for me. Sorry. Advent. Uh, this man's coming through the Midwest here in a few months for Snow and Flurry Festival. Hopefully I can go to that. That'd be cool. Another... God damn it. Another Zayo. Brand of Sacrifice, this band smacks. If you're into slam or deathcore or metal, whatever the hell, it's pretty much all the same anymore. 
Yeah. Genre Nazis. I went there. Sorry. But yeah, Brand the Sacrifice. This is Interstice. Check that out. Uh, Landscapes is another one I had in my actual collection that I figured somebody else would like more than me. Reserving Dirt Maps. And I figured I'd give a shot and I didn't really like them. So if you're into that heavy hardcore, check it out. These are both still sealed. Part 1 and Part 2. Drowning Man. This is another band that I thought that I would like, but I just couldn't really get into it. Uh, this is Busy Signal at the Suicide Hotline. This is also another one that I figured I would like that I'm just not the biggest fan of. Uh, CDC Burn. Uh, this is still sealed. This is poured out. I believe I have their other one in my distro too. Um, yeah, this, I've had this in my collection for like a year or two. But I figured somebody else would like it more than me. Because I don't really have the space otherwise I would keep them all as well as this one dissolve uh what's this called caveman of the future cd god war i saw these guys in uh, in uh, waterloo back in yeah i know two minutes left uh back in waterloo about a month ago on that Pit for Pits festival, these guys were awesome. Check it out from the Quad Cities if you like melodic hardcore stuff. This band was pretty cool. Uh, Necrung, they're from Wisconsin, I believe. They were also on Pit for Pits. And I'm also seeing them next weekend in Decorah, Iowa, of all places, which doesn't really have shows anymore. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get a couple more for the distro. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I want to say Garot. Something like that. Another one, Advent. It's their newest album. Uh, yeah, if you're into them, check it out. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that's about it. I'm always adding stuff to the distro. Uh, trying to, anyway, but you know, you can only do so much when you have so much space and so much money. You know, but uh, I'm getting new stuff in next weekend. Or blah, 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 blah. next week, I should say. Like, the following week. I don't know when this is going to come out. But shit, I haven't even uploaded the first one. So, um, yeah.